You left your position. What the heck is wrong with you? Not your problem. When people are in my unit, I'm responsible for it. It is my problem. Then your problem is what you allow to happen. We're not a military chronic. That was a slaughter. This is war. Start getting used to it. That war you led back there wasn't an act of liberation or not even a rescue mission. You led a massacre! Just like y'all been leading in a circle going only in a round, spinning the dizziness of your own cause! So when you're giving exact orders, I- Don't talk BS like you're giving orders because I don't take orders from a mercenary who thrives off of chaos warfare. And I don't take orders from a mercenary who does a multi-billionaire arms lord white boy's bidding! Just like vulnerable little remarks such as that are what empowered the enemy. Recognize expressive empathetic fear as what is eligible enough to say you allowed a singled out handover of the enemy's martyrs who once belonged on our side! Dude! How dare you hold us responsible for those who are not by our side? And how dare you try to exploit and expose a hole in my methods of fighting based on some irritating lesson? Well, you wanna be a macho, true to the code, hard to the core, bad to the bone, knuckle skull, hard neck, get some then you're just as delusionally crappy as the opponents you claim to be fighting against. If you expect me to swing at elderly wisdom just so I can get punched in the ribcage broken by a duck down, because respect is trying to extract any desperation, no chance even in the devil's playground, homie. Well, when your disrespect even appears as a danger to my little girl, I don't give a scrap waste if you do or don't take a shot. You're mad at me. You're mad at me, Chronic. That's because you fixed all of this. And you did it with him! Diaz created data signals to lure us here by tipping off Absin. Then you. Think about it for a minute. Absin goes for it, gives close coordinates of Arepius to the Bongolian government. Absin fakes a capture, instructs you how to dismantle my ship so we can steal an O-Stem. All because Diaz knew how to draw us towards a leak the regime had planned to kill anyway. So what, I took your ship. Yeah, I outsmarted you. Man with all that muscle but with a dying heart. What, you wanna cut my head off? Try it. Cause for all I know, if it weren't for me, you either would have been dead or in prison. That's because you think I don't know, do you? What your colleagues don't talk about. Your neural magnetic burst. Don't you dare. That's right, I know about your gift. Your curse, possibly. Your ability that can destroy your human enemies like nothing. I saw a man, a face, a force unlike any. And if I hadn't had an effect on your mission, it could have been catastrophic. Don't you dare. Oh, that's right. Because you already know more than we all can handle. Because what good is a dangerous mind when an offender can fire a bullet at the skull where the brain sits in? Not you! Oh, not me, Concept! Because you can melt a bullet or any harmful object to what your imagination desires. I should stop talking about it, homie! Yeah, because the voice and trash talk is for wussies and pussies, right? Mercenaries get the job done. Our vigilantes handle it, right? You know what, man? I pity you for all the wrong reasons. Yeah, I like how y'all elderly wise cracks and your stupid pets talk all that love and compassion when it's time to get up off the back of your hand and on your feet. All of a sudden, the personality changes. Yeah, that's right. Answers are everything. An answer to this, an answer to that. The answers are more than life. You know what, you're just like the rest of these complex machines. Sheep. Giving their sentience to wait for answers. Collateral is worth more than organic life. Answers for technical perceptions instead of just being. Instead of just falling. Instead of just stumbling. Instead of just mistaking. Can't tell the difference between a question and an emotional expression. Everything always needs instructions. Like life is one big manual to learn. Well, it'd be a lot easier. If you had not been caught without us having anything to do with what happened, the whole world would have seen who and what the regime fears. You. So I saw a man and asked myself, what if there is any good in him? What if he, 
you wanted a chance. Because if I was in a horrific situation similar, I would want a chance. Especially if I was conscious enough to realize one existed despite all the fog in front of me. So what did I do? I did more than just give you a chance. I gave you this. I gave you me. I gave you my daughter. I gave you Quest. I gave you Nail. I gave you Absent. I gave you New Play. I gave you us. And the possibility of what if. So if you feel as if why do I need you for? Just in case we can't do anything? Because you're the only one who can, and who always could possibly. So I chose that. All of you. I tried. And still trying. Trying to raise kids in a time of war. A time of strife. In the middle of it. There is no candy coat to that. You mercenaries, the few of you, I'm sure you know I don't know you that well. But if you rather wallow in tragedy's glory, instead of having the guts to do what's right by life and the life of another, and I'm not waiting around, because I believe in helping in a universe that perceives help as a myth. Anyone says I'm naive for doing and standing by that. Well, I don't give a rat's in the gutter for even trying. Niente, I respect that. But that reality you always stress of importance is not reality. That aspect is a miracle. Well, maybe that's the problem. When grudge heads such as yourself laugh at the idea of a miracle, especially don't believe in one, they get the same thing over and over. Dirt. Or maybe dirt is the idea. In the beginning all there was was the dirt. In the end, will all there be left is the dirt? Well at this rate we keep going at each other's throats like this. Well I guess we'll never know then, won't we? So is this the part where you tell me to hit the jack and don't look back? as we will not hesitate to forget the ones we love. We will always have fond memories of the enemies we hate. That's something I will not help be a part of. Apparently I handed over enough people over to the Pargolian fleets. I'm not handing you over neither. None of you. Put that on a plate and remember that. <laughs>